So I've got the Hero 3. I've got the AR Drone 2.0. I want to make a camera mount. I've seen some camera mounts uh, sold. Uh, they're a little expensive for my taste for what they are, so I want to take some scissors, uh, some foam that came with a uh, uh, DSLR camera mount that I, that I got. I cut a square out slightly larger than my GoPro 3. I'm just eyeballing it, uh, putting it up against it, uh, getting to the right place, place to cut. I want it to fit kind of snug. I don't want it to be bouncing around. Now I'm going to make sure that I cut deep enough uh, to slide it down inside, but not so deep as to leave too thin of a bottom. Because this is going to be carrying my $400 Hero 3 Black Edition. Uh, I don't want it to, to, to fall out of the bottom. So I want to cut out enough of the material uh, from the inside so it can fit. Now this material is very, very light. Uh, you can watch my next video. Uh, it's going to be the weights. I weigh the foam. I weigh the cameras and the housings, the GoPro 2, uh, the Hero 3. Uh, I weigh the, the hull, uh, the indoor and outdoor hull of the AR drone. Uh, and seeing what we're going to do with the weight and see how it's going to compare. We're going to try to keep this weight as close to factory as we can. And we'll slide it in. It didn't fit quite enough down to the bottom uh, for me. Now, right off, I do apologize for the camera angles in this uh, this video. Unless you like video angles of hairy hands and arms, uh, then this video is probably for you. So we're getting down on the inside. I reach my fingers down and pull some out. I use the scissors to shear some of it out, still being very careful not to puncture that bottom. Now once I get it where the camera slides in there really nice, I kind of get an idea where the lens needs to poke through. I uh, take my scissors, poke a hole through it, and make nice room for my lens to, to poke through there. Now I plan to take a small clear plastic lens. Oh, give that back, cat. A small clear plastic lens put over the top of that. And uh, that way I can protect the lens from being scratched should it come down. Um, the GoPro fits in there really nice. The cat's still trying to steal my scissors. Uh, now, the next thing I need to do is make a top. Uh, now, I want the top uh, just for just a little added protection. Uh, the vibration against the, the AR drone, um, shock mount. I don't know. Seems like a good idea. And it's not going to add much weight to the, to the drone. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I cut it up, trim it up. Uh, I plan to hold this together with rubber bands. I don't have any rubber bands right now, as luck would have it. But I'll find something that'll hold it together. Um, and that's it. I hope you like it. Check out my other videos. I'm going to unbox my AR drone. I've got a video up already unboxing the Hero 3. I've got some video samples comparing the Hero 3 to the Hero 2. And I'm going to make a lot more videos. I'm off all week until New Year's. So hopefully I'll get some good video flying this thing around. All right. Thank you.